Ted Harvey, who serves as the chairman of the Committee to Defend the President, a political action committee dedicated to reelecting President Trump. He's also a former Republican member of the Colorado State Senate. Uh, Ted, it is really great to have you with us. I'm curious to get your thoughts. It seemed that the administration went back and forth a little bit on to whether, the, whether to have the president hold this briefing today. In the end, he did. What do you think factored into that decision? Well, I think the president has the ability to go around the mainstream media and their desires to set the narrative to the American people about who President Trump is. And his poll numbers have been going up ever since he started doing these press briefings because he's going directly to the American people. He is t showing them his leadership capabilities and his compassion, not only for those that are sick and have passed away, but also for those who are losing their jobs. And the, the, the media is not able to filter it out. And that's why his poll numbers have been going up. And I think that's why the media has been freaking out so much during these press briefings and trying to do everything they can to try to trap him into a, a trick question here and there. And um, the American people are getting a full display of just who the mainstream media is in today's political world. That being said, is there a fine line, particularly when you are trying to keep the president on message. Some of these press conferences, Ted, have gone on for as much as three hours. So it does give the president a lot of room to perhaps muse or uh, contemplate different scenarios for an economic recovery or for how to mitigate the health impacts from the coronavirus. How do you, when, when you are in a, an election year where we have this pandemic present and it's very easy for the former vice president, Joe Biden, to sit on the sidelines and, and let the president respond to this. How do you balance putting yourself out there and touching, uh, touching base with Trump supporters, but not necessarily giving too much airtime to have a mistake like the one that we saw last week? Well, I think the president is at his best when he is talking directly to the American people, and that's why you've seen his poll numbers going up during these press briefings. Again, the media is not able to spin it the way they want to spin it, always to the detriment of the president. Look at news reports over the last three and a half years, 95% of all of the about the president has been negative. So it's going to always be in his best interest to go around the media and go directly to the American people. And that's what he's been doing. And I wouldn't say that Vice President Biden is sitting back and allowing the president to do this. Joe Biden's campaign is desperate to keep Biden away from the media, uh, keeping him away from the people, because they know every time Joe Biden opens his mouth, he sticks his foot in his mouth by saying something totally bizarre and irrational. And so they're desperately trying to keep him out of it. And the president is taking away all of the airtime. So um, I think it's always going to be good for the president to be talking directly. To the and Ted, one more question before we go. We know that the president was largely staking his reelection on the economic numbers, uh, not just the records that we've seen on Wall Street, but also unemployment being at historic lows. Does it serve the president, particularly in the press conference today, to talk about how great the economy was uh, when maybe things should be geared toward more of how what what this recovery looks like under the president? Well, I think it is important for the president to say the successes that his administration had over the last three and a half years. He brought it from, you know, record Unemployment, unemployment to record employment. Um, African American unemployment numbers are at lowest levels. Female unemployment levels, unemployment levels are at record lows. Um, but we must put blame where it starts. This is not President Trump's economy that has crashed. This is China's economy that has collapsed because of the COVID response that they had and the way that they cut off the supply chains to the world. Um, this is going to have long-term ramifications economically, and it will be important for the president to set forward a, an agenda on how we're going to deal with this economy. And the most important thing we can do is get states across this country to open up. In, in my state of, of Colorado, we had 24 people admitted to the hospital yesterday. There is no 
reasons why we should not open up the state of Colorado. The whole goal was to lower the curve. I think we've done that in abundance. We need to be able to open up the state and get people back to work. Ted Harvey, we really appreciate you coming on to give us your analysis. Thanks so much for that.